We're here. Okay, we're here. We did it. We're at the bed of chaos. It's done. Fuck you. Legit like five times just to get this stupid shit down and It's finally here. We're done. It's over the bullshit the bed of bullshit. It's dead now We can go back Back to the past Samurai Jack okay. We're gonna we're gonna use the great soul hero thing uh, and actually, just to spit in the face of everyone who thought a wizard build was viable, fuck you, we're gonna use a soul of Max. And the soul of Artorius, just to be even more insulting. Should I had insult to injury, salt in the wound. Now, we can level up even more. And just get insane. We're, we, we got some gains now. So, we're gonna go back to Firelink Shrine, because something very important has changed. Remember good old Patches? Oh, I'm your friend, Trusty Patches! <laughs> uh, yeah. He's a merchant, apparently. He's a seller. And he should be here, and he should be selling the... the final thing I need to complete this puzzle. And that would be... The mask we have. The mask. Oh, hi. Oh, Francis sleeps still. <laughs> okay. He is selling the one thing we need the mask of the father. The final key. Hey, buddy. Buddy, I. Oh, we meet again. How many of you are there? You've come at the perfect time. I'm done with the looting. I'm a humble merchant now. And wondrous treasures have I. At a special price for you. There you are. Have a nice look at them. Oh, relax. No more funny business out of me, my friend. Okay. Procrastination. Prostitution? That's not how you spell procrastination. What if? Uh, he sells some pretty alright stuff. Cramped is snoring in the background, which makes me want to cave his skull in. I'm gonna buy that Thoral and Talisman because it's actually pretty good. Finally! Right. Finally! Good stuff, eh? Don't you forget who got it for you. <laughs> now, the final ingredient. We get the Mask of the Father. We get on the giant stuff. And we should be able to move around without fat rolling, right? Yes, it's done. We did it. The build is complete. We are done. We are perfect. We've reached peak peak meme mode. Now all I need to do is talk to that giant in Anne Orlando, and we should be pretty much unstoppable. And now, my stamina recovery is just insane. It's just insane. I'm gonna head to the, uh, what was the... Oh, sorry, it's actually really, really late. Shit, it's even later than when I normally record. Or is it? Sorry, I'm sorry. It might be super obvious, but I'm just not seeing it. Oh, here it is. Chamber of the Princess. Here we are. 
you just gotta, I'm just making a pit stop, so to say. After that, we should be immediately on to the lair of Seath the Dankless. And then after that, it should be a straightforward shot hole. Well, killing the wind. It's kind of sad, because I don't actually know. I don't feel anything from Gwyn. Gwyn was an evil bastard, if you don't remember. He was pure evil. Okay, I can't say that. But he was very selfish. He only sought the interests of himself. He basically condemned humanity to eternal suffering. Not, not the nice thing. I would go without doing that. You know, condemning humanity to forever sacrifice humanity to the dark, you know, the sigil or whatever, and perpetually keeping them linked to fire. I'm gonna buy all the shit from you. Get this. Reinforce my lovely, lovely armor. Damn it. Okay, well, maybe I can get enough souls uh, after Seek's little thing. And just leave. Okay. We're actually going to be going back to Anor Londo in just a minute, but I need to do some comparing and contrasting. Yep, the build is complete. Uh, I can only upgrade it a little more, and even then, it's kind of just like adding insult to injury at this point. Also, hey, Frant. Wake up. No, no. I'm fine. <laughs> Set his face I'm on fine. fire. Well, and wide awake. Not treat me like an old withering snake. Hey, guess what, Frampton boy? Say! And offer some souls up to the Lord Vessel. Now that flame is burning quite nice. But if you remember, we gotta go pay the daughters the daughter of chaos a quick visit. Because we killed Kirk in every instance that he appeared. And now I need to claim his armor. Because of course, why not? Gauntlets of thorns, legging of thorns, armor of thorns, and a helmet of thorns. All essentially jack shit. <laughs> but it looks cool, so, you know. Mm. So, I'm going to be heading to An Orlando now. Because we gotta go kill Seath the Dankless. Or, I'm sorry, Seath the Scaling. Mm. You see the scale is there, and you see the scale is. I don't care. What? What does my curse resist? Because it can't be good. 30. Ouch. So, for those of you who don't know, Seep is a crystal based demon. Not demon, sorry, dragon. Even though he has no legs, no eyes, and no scales. These guys are still annoying. Okay. Even if they don't have a lot of health anymore. It's kind of amazing how I'm literally just wearing the same armor as them, minus the helmet. And yet I'm league stronger than them. Even though my sword is like the size of the blade on one of their helmets. If these guys were slightly less lazy, they'd probably be able to kill me with these. But also, just look at that backdrop for a minute. I'm realizing it might be hard to hear me very well uh, because I'm speaking a little softer because I'm actually like falling asleep <laughs> as I record this. I'm like 
If only you guys could see me because I am barely awake. Now you remember this place. Killed some boars here. And some other stuff. I just realized I gotta upload these videos. I don't know, look. Look, my brain, it's not at its highest point right now. I have to go out to the land and build a shed. Grovesner, or whatever. I have to go out there, build a shed from the pieces of a dismantled shed, which by the way, is not only awesome, but very difficult. And, and immediately after that, we're gonna be having a fire. And for those of you who are worried I'm gonna get COVID, I'm not gonna get COVID. Uh, but also, it's only like three people. And we're all gonna be staying a fair distance apart because we're going to be working on building stuff. Plus we have masks. Here we are once again. And their damage values are still insane. God damn it. Okay. I'm dying. Oh yeah, because they have random shiny rocks coming out of their sword, that somehow makes them immensely deadly. But I will admit, even though I hate Seat the Scales in the area, it's much, it's much better designed than, say, the Bitch of Isolith. But, you know. Ah, ah. Channelers are a pretty cool enemy though. Even if they are easy to kill. Scratch that, they're beyond easy. Holy shit. Okay, that's some insane arrow damage, but whatever. Get a brave warrior soul. Cut these guys down. There's a lot of books here, which is kind of weird because the printing press hasn't even been invented yet, and C's can't read because you don't have you don't have eyeballs. He don't got no eyes in his head. A bit strange, but whatever. Let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. I actually have to get my rare ring of sacrifice on because it prevents curses. And Seath likes curses. In case you couldn't tell by the fact that he's a crystal dragon. You know, that makes no sense, but whatever. It actually makes pretty good sense, but, you know, it's whatever. I have no idea who this rando is, but he does drop some pretty cool armor. Oh no wait, he didn't even drop his armor. What an ass. Well, at least there's a crystal here and I can, you know, kill him. And he got stuck on my sword. Up ahead should be the boss fight for Seath the Scales. Now I can't actually hurt him here. I can try, but it'll just nullify the damage. Cause he's got the crystal of immortality or some shit like that, and I can't hurt him. I do hate his curse though. I'm gonna give myself my Xanthus now. Cause it offers really good uh, curses though. Oh, whatever, it's up there. Well, that's a shame. And now I'm here. I'm gonna get my thingy doodle going. And we're stuck here. Hang on. Oh, that's the easiest jailbreak ever. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we do some pretty cool stuff. See you around.